So what happened was we were driving by from a friend's giving after we just dropped off a friend, and Parker he saw uh, Jordan Parker he saw that um, fog was in, in the street, and one of our friends Marquise he said that oh I think it's a fire, and then we passed it just a little bit. We were like, like right here, and I looked back and I saw it was it's legit it was a furrow fire, and Marquise yells to him to pull over, and that's when we all ran out and one of the adults was with was with us. I stopped and um after that we just ran straight to the door he called he told me to call 911 I got him on the phone after we broke down the first door we all spread out into all the other floors and then and then so I went to the second floor and I knocked three times and there was no one that responded so I started kicking the second door and then I finally kicked it in and then I led the other uh, resident out and then Rashawn went to the third floor yeah I went to a third floor with uh, Abdurrahman and an uh, older gentleman so we began to knock at the door, but the residents was not answering the door. So we knocked down the door and uh, we went to search the apartment and we found them in their room sleeping. They, they were not aware of anything. So we were waking them up and uh, she woke up. She was confused. She didn't know what was going on. So we were yelling at her. We told her, there's a fire in your house. We got to go. We got to go. So uh, we wrapped up her kids in blankets and we escorted them downstairs. And then. Um, we went back downstairs to get the late the landlord on the first floor, and uh, when we got her out, she ran back into the house to get a key. And then uh, we asked her what, what's going on. She has a dog in the basement, so she gives me the key, so, so I unlock the door, and then that's when Jordan grabs the dog. And then we get everyone out, and we uh, tell them to go across the street to get away from the building just in case if anything happens. 